Welcome to Comfort Avenue number two. I'm your host, Echo Frank Grey Wolf. So, we're going to talk about how bad this week's been. Mm. Uh. <sighs> okay. Uh. So, my egg was still swole. It's so swole, it's unrecognizable. Hopefully, you guys can see that. See, it's right there. And so, as I struggle to get my foot back in this damn sock. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start. So, last Sunday, I got my car inspected. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I need to put more ice on this puppy. And I have to wait till the night. Except for I'm a genetic freak, ice actually makes my shit swell up even more. Anyway. Okay, I'm sorry y'all had to see my ugly ass toes. If you saw my ugly ass toes. Uh, my feet's the one part of my body I just can't stand. I love them because I'm good at fighting with them. But um, they're just ugly as fuck. <laughs> okay, so last Sunday, I got my car inspected. I couldn't get a ride on Monday because by the time they caught me, they were already closing and I didn't have a ride to go pay for it. So come Tuesday, I couldn't get a ride. So I walked four miles to get my car. Pay for the car, car pass inspection, everything is good. So, I drive home. Wednesday, wasn't too bad. No. I think Wednesday I fell up the steps holding my baby nephew in the walker. That might have been Tuesday. No, that was definitely Tuesday because after walking four miles, driving home, my little nephew would not go to sleep. So we put him in this, um, this uh, snuggly doohickey thingy. And I walked him up the block. And then at the top of the block, I walked another block two times, plus I took him to the park, and he just went out go to sleep. Now, he's one years old. He just turned one back in February on Valentine's Day. And I'm thinking, usually, from walking and singing to him, he goes right out. That day, he was on a whole nother level of, I do what I want. And he did what he want. He refused to go to sleep. So, it was hell. Wednesday, I had a fairly decent day. I can't remember anything bad happening. Went to work. Everything was kosher. Thursday, everything was pretty much the same. No, I did do a Instagram and TikTok live. And I called it because the weather was calling for rain. I said, I'm going to go ahead and do this night show. And I did it. It's on here. Because I knew they were calling for rain. And I also said that if it doesn't rain, then I would do it. Well... It did rain. It just rained later than what it was supposed to. And um, come Friday is when the rain was supposed to come. Well, the rain came late. But before the rain came, I had a really bad fall off the porch. So we thought the microwave was going to catch on fire. So we unplugged the microwave, but it was still smelling really, really bad. So we took it out. And by we, I mean me. And there was less porch than I thought. And I took bigger steps than I thought. I'm a small guy. I'm only five, three and a half, you know, buck 25. And I didn't know that I ran out of porch and I was still moving. So I fell. The microwave door thing came off in my hand. I think the microwave hit me in the chin. I don't remember. I can still see it, but I don't remember it. And I know I had the microwave at my chest, but when I got on the ground, I was on my back. <laughs> so I scarred up my knee on the other leg, the leg that had the hip replacement. But I fell on my right leg. I do not know how the hell this happened. It's like my body twisted up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't get through it without laughing. Because as I talk about it, I can still see it happening in my head. I've seen it happening all weekend long in my head. So, um, my body twisted up. My mom's laughing at me. My nephew in his greenery, he's laughing at me. The baby was asleep, so he has no idea what was happening. And... I got up, and I was hurting. I didn't know how bad I was hurting, but I was hurting. So I guess I sprang or bruised. And so after we got that shit done, I had to go to work. So I went to work with a sprain or bruised at swole up ass ankle. And it's still swollen, as you just saw. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to work because I can't afford not to go to work. And because, like, Hollywood's not knocking down my door. 
So I'm not acting like I want to act. So, yeah, I got to do my real job. So I explained it in my work, and I was like, I really don't know how I felt because it's not like I don't know how long the porch is. But I guess at that moment, I must have just overreached and I overstepped and down I went with a tumble. So again, scarred up my left knee. It's just below the knee, I think. Yeah, hold on. Right there. So right, right there. So that's the battle scar along with the, um, the ankle. But I don't remember my knee hitting the ground. I just remember hitting the ground. And um, it was funny as hell. When I went to work, I was like, I had to use my cane, which is over here. It's not a pimp cane or anything. So I had to use my cane. And yeah, I was using it incorrectly because you're supposed to use it on the left side to put all your weight on the opposite leg that's messed up. I learned that when I had my hip replacement. But anyway, so... I got to work, explained everything, and I do remember what happened Thursday. Thursday was not a great, great day. Thursday, I spent my time trying to go get um, a piece from a weed eater. I finally got that fixed yesterday, so I'm back in business for weed eating. But um, I had been trying to reach out to craftsmen for over like eight months, and they never called me back. So I had to get a, a new head for the weed eater. It's a long story. Anyway, I had to go to like... Like three different stores, man. And the first store I went to was uh, Martin Tarver. I had called them the day before. And so they was like, all right, we'll take a look at it. So they took a look at it. It's like, well, we don't have anything we can fix you. And then they sent me to um, some shit that starts with an R. Um, I do not have it on me. It's written down in the car somewhere. But it started with an R. They sent me to Piedmont Power. So um, hold on. I'm not gonna let that slide. Is Gingrich. So they sent me to Gingrich. Gingrich were great people. And um no, they're not paying me for this, but um go to Gingrich. If you need anything and you're in Charlottesville, go to Gingrich. If they don't know how to help you, they know who can help you. And if you don't go to them, go to Martin's Hardware, because Martin Hardware sent me to Gingrich. Gingrich sent me to Piedmont Power. And thank you to the lovely lady at Piedmont Power, I believe. I don't remember her name. It doesn't matter. She met me on Saturday and she fixed my damn weed eater. Awesome. So, now you know what happened Saturday and you know what happened on Thursday. Alright, so that kind of combined it. And then, you know, I fell on Friday and I had to walk around work with this freaking cane. Looking all kinds of messed up. And I'm going to tell y'all, walking and vacuuming with the cane, it kind of sucks. I had to clean the bathroom so I left the cane alone for a minute. But then I had to do the trash, I had to leave the cane alone because I need both my hands. And, you know, um, after I got all that done, I could walk with the vacuum and the cane. I just had to do it, like, southpaw. I had to do everything left-handed. I'm not naturally left-handed, but I am left-handed because I train with my left hand and my left side more than my right side because your right side will compensate. If you're a martial artist, you understand how that works. And so I was supposed to go back to work today to take the um, cleaner rigs out of the dryer, and I didn't. I did, but I didn't. When I got there, um, the boss had company, and I decided not to get in there because when you like don't want to lose your job and you walk on eggshells, it's best just to keep it moving. And so I did. And then um, today, the ankle is still swollen. I did take pain medicine last night. It was Advil PM. It knocked me slammed the hell out. But now when I put like a little bit of pressure on my, my heel and my foot, it still hurts like shit. But um, I'm in a lot better shape now than I was two days ago. So um, let me state this now. There's a slim chance that there won't be any martial art videos for about three or four or more days. Well, um, we're going to see if the swelling goes down before I try to think stupid. That being said, thank you to 259 of you for giving me 10 minutes of some change of your life to listen to this horrible week that I've had. But on that same note, I am so blessed to um, have made it through because it's Sunday now. It is currently 7.27 p.m. East Coast time. So I want to thank you. And, and one small note, one small note. Um, if you're on TikTok, if you're Afro-Indigenous, cool. And by Afro-Indigenous, I mean mixed black, 
and mixed native. I don't mean if you're like just black and saying you're completely native with no native ties. I am mixed raced. I am native. I am black. I am white. I do not go out near my heritage. I keep all of them. I honor them as best I can. But I want you to understand something. There are a lot of um, this tiny group of black people who are trying to erase Native American culture. So if you guys can go and see what you can do to stop that shit, that would be great. As a mixed person, I am not on the fence. I have chose the Native American side and not the fake Natives. The actual Natives that they keep calling Siberians, I'm with them. That being said, I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Africa number two. I love you all. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, shout out to my younger brother and sister. It's their birthday. And also, um, if you guys are watching this, can we say a prayer for the people who died at Virginia Tech on April 16th, a few years back? Um, let's do that now. Heavenly Father, we say a prayer for the people lost on April 16th at Virginia Tech, because this is one of the anniversaries of their death. We hope that you give their families some kind of salvation and that you take care of them, God. And to the ones that are with you, let them know that they are not forgotten. In Jesus' name, I pray to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so if you're not religious, you should have stopped the video a long time ago. Thank you guys for watching. I am Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Comfort Number 2, BCM.